Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's episode, I've got something really interesting to show you all. We're going to be taking a look at a Sega Genesis game that provides a Windows 95 simulation experience. That's right, it's called Mikey LD 95 And I first heard about this when the developer of this game got in contact with me a little bit earlier this year and told me about what he was doing with this game, what it was all about, and when I got a chance to explore it a little bit, I said, you know what, this is right up this channel's alley. In fact, it's very similar to Nintendo's XP and even those Windows Flash parodies that we took a look at last year. This actually started out, and I find this really cool, as a chiptune music album for the Sega Genesis that just evolved into this 90s, mid-90s simulation experience with all sorts of visual elements that you would have found in Windows 95, along with some Easter eggs, because who doesn't love Easter eggs, and just a ton of stuff that is going to be really cool to go through. And what's even better is this game is completely free when it gets released on June 24th in just a couple of days here. But if you want to support this guy and get something really cool uh, along the way, you can purchase the physical copy that he's going to be making available. As of right now, you can go to his Bandcamp page and spend $20 to get the physical copy of it. And I just love, by the way, side note, Creating a new game for an old console is cool enough, but then to go and release a physical copy of it as if this were a Sega Genesis game that was released in the late 80s, early 90s, is very, very cool to me. I may end up picking up one of these myself, to be honest with you, but yeah, here it is. And you can also, of course, purchase the Chiptune album itself if you want. That's pretty much a little overview of it. Let's go ahead and actually dive into this and check it out. So I've got a Sega Genesis emulator here open on my computer, and we're just going to drag the ROM file into it. And right off the bat, you get this Energy Star, this parody Energy Star startup screen there, or bio screen, I should say. And then you get this. A Windows 95 style startup screen with some clouds going in the background, super awesome, with one of the songs playing. And you can let it play here and listen to the whole thing, or you can uh, just press the start button, if I actually select the emulator here, and get to the desktop, so it plays this nice little tune here. And here you are on the Windows 95 simulator's desktop. So you've got six icons here, console, the internet, inbox, music, display, and credits. And you've got a start button down here. You can press the start button on your Sega Genesis controller to open that up. And you've got more stuff in here, which of course we will just go through every single one of these uh, options here as we go through here. But if we sit on the desktop here and wait a little bit, that was perfect timing. Clippy comes up and tells us, hey, you can press A to select an app or press start to open up the menu. And yeah, so that's a nice little touch there for sure. So console here, when you open this up, gives you a little bit of information about, you know, the software version, the region. And this is accurate, by the way, if I were to change this to PAL. And then if I get out of this and open it back up, you see it will say PAL now for the region instead of NTSC. We'll change that back to um, NTSC there. So there you go. There's also this sound test right here, which if I were to uh, change this to, so zero, I just pressed A on zero and it plays that startup sound again. If I go to one here, you got another song playing here. So you can go through here and just listen to all these tracks. Or what I found, which is interesting, if you go to 53 here and press A, you get this uh, passport.mid, oh yeah, because who doesn't love that? And you got the Bliss background, he's like holding up a card here with his information. So Mikey LD, founded October 23rd, 2007, place of birth, and his Twitter handle right there. And I don't think I've heard Passport.mid on a Sega Genesis before, but that's just really cool. Uh, this is probably my favorite Windows MIDI. I mean, Canyon is a close second, but Passport, just, there's just nothing like it, man. So, yeah, I think I'm just gonna, <laughs> honestly, I could sit here and listen to the whole thing. I kind of want to. We'll just let it play for a little bit longer here. Dang, yeah, that sounds really nice. All right, we'll just get out of that before I uh, before I waste too much time. But yeah, so you can go through here and 
just check out all these. And it's worth noting these are not just the chiptune songs, it's also just various sounds that you'll hear as you go throughout the simulator here. So like number 50 is a dial-up modem sound. So yeah, you've got that there, and we'll just get out of this because that's pretty much all there is to it, uh, to the information screen here. Next up, the internet. So this one, speaking of that sound, there it is. So this will open up a web browser. Of course, it's not an actual web browser. This is all just a simulator, but you've got various like websites here. You got Twitter, Bandcamp, YouTube, Itch.io, Reddit, I'm Feeling Lucky, Zombo, Hamster Dance, and Space Jam. And because obviously you can't use a mouse or another pointing device with the Sega Genesis, you're just using your arrow keys to move this cursor around. So yeah, we'll just go through these. We'll go to Twitter. I think this will open up, uh, oh, not just his Twitter profile. It's just the uh, Twitter. I mean, you see, you got, I got his handle right there, but it's uh, someone's Twitter feed or just a mimic of somebody's Twitter feed. Microsoft Windows 95, it sucks less. Sega, we're approaching Saturn. eBay, Soul, the broken laser pointer, AOL. You know, hashtags are basically keywords, right? <laughs> Sun Micro Java, right once, run everywhere. Mikey LD95 is out today. And then Microsoft says, you will love the easy Microsoft Bob experience. Oh my gosh. So yeah, you've got some like parody trends up here. Internet Explorer, Microsoft <laughs> unveils secure new browser. Online bookstore will go public for Amazon. First ever election. Electronic Entertainment Expo this May, IBM Deep Blue Prototype may beat Chess Grandmasters. Yeah, so that's, gosh, it's just stuff like this, this attention to details is super cool. So yeah, that's Twitter. Bandcamp is just a screenshot of his Bandcamp page, or maybe not an exact screenshot, but um, yeah, because, you know, some of this text looks a little bit different. But yeah, there you go. You got YouTube which will open up his YouTube channel, by the way. I'll have his channel linked down below as well if you want to go watch some of his stuff. And then here's the Itch.io page so that we were just on. So there it is. Reddit opens up the Sega Genesis subreddit. Pretty nice. And Space Jam, I, I assume, is just going to be, uh, yeah, just a screenshot of the Space Jam website. So there it is. Hamster Dance. There it is, Hamster Dance. Zombo. And I'm Feeling Lucky, I think, just opens up random stuff. Yeah, so here's the Hamster Dance page again. You've also got uh, <laughs> a parody of the All Your Base or Belong to Us, but it's him. So yeah, I'm assuming that this is his face. You know, you saw that in the logo on the startup screen. So I assume that this is him. And uh, yeah, so it says Mikey LD, uh, all your base are belong to us. So I assume you just go through here. I guess that's a bit of an Easter egg. That's one of the Easter eggs. Very, very neat for sure. We'll go ahead and back out of that. And we'll hit uh, C here actually to get out of that. And next up is music, which of course was the original purpose behind creating this in the first place, because these are all of the chiptune songs here. So you can go through and play every single one of these if you want. So here's the startup sound again. So yeah, pretty cool. We'll go ahead and play this one here. Now, the Bandcamp page is showing 22 songs, and you see we've got 11 in here, so it looks like he hasn't brought uh, every song over here, which is understandable, you know, if he wants to keep, you know, most of the songs where you have to actually buy them, right? That makes total sense. But yeah, you can definitely listen to these here and, uh, you know, check them out. And yeah, honestly, these sound pretty good, I gotta say, just from my little playthrough of them here. This is kind of giving me a Doom vibe. Oh, this one's pretty cool. Waffles, Revenge, Five Digit Years. Yeah, I won't, like, play every single one of these because, you know, you guys can, can actually go over and purchase the album if you want. But, yeah, so that is, uh, again, I just love the fact that, you know, he started this thing out as just a chiptune music album and then it ends up just morphing into this 
just really cool experience and the fact that it's free is just freaking awesome so apparently when you just sit idle on the desktop here for a while even if you've already opened stuff clippy will just come up and say hey you know this is how you actually interact with uh with the system here with the quote-unquote operating system next up is inbox if you open this up you've got uh you see a couple emails in here You've got one from him, Mikey LD, which is a welcome uh, thing here. Thank you for choosing Mikey LD95, the operating system for your Sega Genesis console. Please enjoy the music, games, visualizers, internet, and more. It looks like we also have an assistant to the regional manager. Thank you for your contribution to our shareholder value. I know that you don't slack off to play video games, surf the web, or listen to that dreadful techno music. Maybe I'll even see you here on the weekend. So, uh, yeah, assistant to the regional manager, obviously a reference to a certain NBC TV show. Now, display here is where you get into some really cool stuff because he's brought over various backgrounds from Windows 95 and Windows 3.1. So you got the iconic bubbles wallpaper here. You've got, you know, you can go through here and we'll just apply. We'll just go through all of them, right? Carved stone, circles, metal links, red blocks, tiles, waves. And then you also have color schemes here. So if you want to apply, and he, he did mention that he specifically brought over um, <laughs> the hot dog stand color scheme uh, from Windows 3.1, which I think we can all agree is the best Windows visual style, hands down. But yeah, you can go through and, you know, of course, not like every single wallpaper and every single color scheme is in here, but he's brought over a lot of them. Uh, I'm just hitting the wrong button here. I want to hit B to apply. And so instead of OK, which will just apply it and close out of it. So, yeah, you got Rose and Spruce. We're going to set it back to hot dog stand. I think we're going to go with red blocks. Yeah, there you go. Gosh, that's giving me a virtual boy uh, vibe. Oh, I hit the wrong thing red blocks okay there we go so uh yeah it's it just you know really it, it's just a lot of fun man so far just just going through here uh credits this you've got you've got the uh, dancing baby thing which has his head on it again this is his full name right here michael elder he did the music programming and graphics and here's some additional credits here and of course the logo which is in the windows 95 logo type there and so there you go but that's not all because if we open up the start menu here we've got even more stuff so under accessories we pretty much have uh console credits display internet um, inbox and music everything that was on the desktop if you go to games here though he's got some games that he's added in here so that makes this an actual sega genesis game because it has games that you can play on it but it's in a game itself isn't that so like meta if people still use that word yeah so 3d maze now i've not messed around with any of these before so this is completely i'm just going into this blind so we'll turn on let's turn on the mini map i guess and hit start and oh my gosh so it's uh it's obviously based around the that windows screensaver that i forget the name of at the moment or i guess 3d maze is the name of it but yeah it's like yeah, you're just you're just going through the maze trying to figure out where the exit is. So let's see if we can do this. So that, that mini map definitely uh, definitely comes in handy for sure. So let's go this way. Let's go up, over. Oh gosh, no, not that way. Oh hey, look at that. Oh no, come on. No, 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 no. I gotta go this way. This way? No, this way. This way and down over we're getting there i'm just thinking how difficult this would be without the mini map let me make a turn there and there it is <laughs> so that's the <laughs> oh my gosh gosh that'll like give you nightmares won't it yeah he said that the 3d maze game has the mouse and open gl picture from the original plus my own warped take on the smiley at the end so <laughs> yeah ambulance open this up here so me dos so this game here is supposed to mimic an ms dos game you can choose your color palette here if you want full cj0 cj1 so you got two different cga options we'll just go with full here actually you know what we'll go with cga0 and we'll press start and yeah there you go 
This reminds me of that Easter egg in um, Excel. I forget what version of it it was, but the one where it's got this this game that's oh no I lost oh no. Yeah, this this definitely reminds me of that. So let's see. Uh, all right, I I lost. There's 33. So not bad. Uh, maybe, but yeah, so that's Ambulance. And, oh yeah, we've got a new email. You can see that little notification icon there. So you open it up, and he had mentioned that after 10 to 20 minutes of play, you'll receive a suspicious attachment in the in-game email inbox, and I can already tell what it is. So we got a message from John here. Kindly check the attached love letter coming from me. And, oh my gosh, I love it. So this is, uh, for those who don't know, the love letter worm which was an email worm uh, that spread in the early 2000s that spread all over the place because a bunch of people thought that their co-workers or friends or anybody in their email inbox were sending them a love letter. Looks like it's overwritten all of our stuff here. So what happens when we open one of these up? Unexpected error has occurred. That's really cool though. So even the clock down there has also been overwritten. We can't even open up the start menu. So you've got this repair option now that I assume will, yeah, would you like to repair Mikey LD95, which is uh, not how the love letter went. There was no like, hey, you can just repair your, no, it, it definitely overwrote uh, files. But yeah, that is a neat, that's a neat Easter egg for sure. I was not expecting that, but I definitely appreciate it. And it looks like it's just gonna restart here. So there we go. We'll, uh, Start here, and oh look at that, it saved our theme, isn't that nice? Yeah, okay. So, let's go back to the start menu here. So that was Ambulance, you've got Flappy Mike, I I already think I know where this is going. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, I guess, it, is it A? Yeah, it's A, I was pressing start. So it's, uh, it's Flappy Bird, but with, uh, with Mike, <laughs> with his face again. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Let's see what I can do. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. Let's let's get a decent score here. Five? Oh yeah, that's a really great score. Oh, zero. That's even better. It doesn't appear to make the ding sound or any sort of sound when you go through the pipes here. But aside from that, it's a pretty good recreation of Flappy Bird. Obviously with the hilarious face instead of the bird, <laughs> so, yeah. Alright, we're gonna do it one more time. Let's see if I can beat my high score of five. Oh, oh, four. Oh, come on. Alright, one more time. I'm gonna try to get the six. Alright, one more time. Alright, this is seriously the last time. Okay, okay, we're done. <laughs> But there you go. Uh, so that's Flappy Mike. You've got Hacky Sack. Oh my gosh. This gives me an After Dark Games vibe. Just with this title screen here. So, okay. So you gotta move around and... <laughs> oh, come on. Let's see what I can get here. Four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine. Can we get to 10? Can we get to 11, 12, oh, 13? Holy crap, we're gonna get to 15, guys. Oh no, okay, 18. Now we'll do it one more time, why not? All right, we'll do it one more time, why not? <laughs> um, I love the music too. I, I assume this is one of the songs from the album. So yeah, there's that, and you've also got Reflex. Okay, this is also giving me an After Dark Games vibe. Twisted. Nice try. Oh yeah, okay, so this he did mention, he actually uses Microsoft Sam, but you can hear the voices a lot more compressed because it's obviously, you know, has to run on a, on a Sega Genesis here. So you have to listen to what Microsoft Sam says, and then you have to press whatever button corresponds to what he's saying, so. Twisted. Pull it. Pull it. Smash it. Smash it. Pull it. Smash it. Smash it. Twist it. 
Point. Twist it. Twist you missed. I missed. So you got a, a bop it style game in here. And next up, he's got visualizers. Now these I don't believe you interact with in any way. They just kind of play out on the screen here. So cards here is the solitaire winning animation with one of the songs playing in the background. Again, very common theme here. And yeah, if I press like A, it just quits. And so I don't think there's any, like, let's just try to hit B. B will quit. And let's try, uh, let's try C will also quit. And I assume Star will probably do the same thing. Yeah, so we'll just go through these briefly. Cards, Defragmenter. Oh, you can actually hit, okay, A and B, or, well, maybe not. Uh, <laughs> that just quit out of it. And will B quit out of it? Yes, it will. So it's strictly just a, uh, you know, thing to leave on as you listen to the music in the background. What's cool, though, if you're listening to the song and you're thinking, that kind of sounds like the Windows 11 startup sound, doesn't it? And you'd be right, it's actually a 16-bit version of a Windows 11 startup sound remix that he made. He has it on his channel as well, if you want to go and uh, check that out. And next up is Elevator. Now, he did say to see what happens if you ride the elevator to the top. So I'm going to let this play here, and we'll see if it can get... I guess it's got to go through all those floors there? Yeah. Look at all those floors. But apparently there's an easter egg, so we're gonna wait till it gets to the top. Alright, we're almost there. 99. And, oh gosh, oh no, oh no, oh jeez. Press any button to boot Mikey LE95, okay. I guess it just restarts, is that it? Though he did say you have to check your email. So, yeah, it looks normal so far. You've got mail. Oh, I did not, so I don't think it did that before. Well, it didn't, because I never heard it say you've got mail, but yeah, it says you've got mail. And, oh, there's a couple other things in here. So you got, this was the I love you um, email there. You got an email from Flappy Mike that says, congratulations on hitting the five-point milestone of Flappy Mike. Truly an accomplishment. <laughs> Keep on flapping. And then this right here is the one, building management, elevator maintenance checkup. Your regularly scheduled service is overdue by 937 days. <laughs> Call now to book an appointment. Yeah, that's an understatement. So yeah, that's the uh, that's the Easter egg he was talking about there. And we also have, we still have some of the visualizers to go through. So let's go to the start menu here. So that was elevator. Flying toasters. Oh man. What a classic. Gosh, after dark, man. Such a great screensaver suite. I swear. And this music goes really well with it. So yeah, you got your flying toasters, your toast. And I could just sit here and kind of watch this for a little while, but we're gonna, we're gonna get out of it here. And you got Headspace. Now he says that this imitates a visualizer of the same name from he believes Windows Me. So we'll hit A here. So you obviously have his his face once again. I just love how his face is like omnipresent throughout this entire thing. <laughs> it's really funny. So yeah, there's that. Brain 48. And oh, when you hit A, it just stops. Okay, that's neat. So this is one of the ones that you can interact with. Even if it's just hitting one button. So yeah. Although can we I, oh I guess you gotta press. A, and then you can get out of it. Yeah, okay. So that's that one. You got Logo Bounce, which will... Oh, yeah, it gives us that, like, DVD logo vibe bouncing around the screen. Yeah, this this album on its own is pretty freaking good, I gotta say. So, yeah, that's that one. And last but not least, we've got Newton's Cradle. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? 
<laughs> so it's... <laughs> oh, man. That is a pretty great utilization of his face, though. That's that one, and that's all the visualizers. And before we shut down, he says that you can press A, B, and C to get to a screen that will say, do you want to reboot Mikey LD95 with the, you can see it's one of the guys from the Windows 3.1 program manager Easter egg, but his head is just like popped off there. So you see you got like what looks like confetti or something coming out of his head. And it says, looks like you're stuck. Would you like to reboot Mikey LD95? So this is how you could reboot it if you want. Uh, we'll just say cancel here. And last but not least, if we go to the start menu here and go to shut down, we're going to, uh, what is me DOS mode? I don't think I looked at this. Let's try that. Oh, you know what? I think he, uh, yeah, this is something I almost forgot to touch on. So you've got ambulance here, which is, we just took a look at this. I wonder if it's the same thing. Yes, it is. Okay, so we'll exit. You've got duo tang. Oh, these are just, oh, these are the songs. I see. So yeah, this is like an Easter egg to get access to four more songs. Which this one we heard in one of the visualizers. Or, no, I think this was in one of the games. That's neat. Almost forgot to mention that. So we'll let it start back up here. And, last but not least, if you do shut down the console, it will say, first it'll play the little sound there, and then it'll say it's now safe to turn off your console. And I think, guys, that is a great way to end off the video. That is Mikey LD95. It'll be released in two days if this video goes out on the 22nd when I want it to. And yeah, if you guys found this interesting, be sure to go and head over to his uh, Bandcamp page, check out his stuff, and I'll have the Itch.io page down below if you want to actually download this and uh, explore it for yourself. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, get subscribed, all that good stuff. And as always, I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.